All right. Another C10 video. Nah. I just came in here to grab the tripod. We're going to work on the uh, Model T for a bit today. All right. So we made a little half-ass there. Do a little work on the T. So I guess if you haven't seen it already, this is my 27T that uh, we've got three or four videos back there. And uh, we kind of built it back, a little suspension, kicked it up and stuff. It's got a little small block in there, Turbo 400 I had. And uh, we re-chopped the roof because it was all kind of mangled, but it's all just kind of tacked together. So I'm getting a bunch of help and then uh, I'm going to finish up when I get home. So today, I think what we're going to do is try and make the steering box fit. So it has to be kind of cut and modified a little. So that'll be fun. And the other thing, this thing's got no deck lid. And I guess they're kind of a goofy shape. So we might make a little piece that goes across here. And then uh, I can screw around down there and make a filler panel and all that. But uh, yeah. it's evening on a weeknight, so I don't know how much we'll get done, but make some progress. Change of plans. We're going to work on this deck lid first. So Brent's confident we're just going to measure it, fold it, and make it fit. So he's leading this one. How hard can it be? I'm sure he'll have a slogan or something like that he'll say, and uh, that's the end of it. So this is my new deck lid. So we cut it out, we fold the sides over an inch. It is tapered, hopefully that's the way it's supposed to be. And now we're gonna mark out for a pile of louvers. You can have good time louvering. Good time louvering, but hey, that's what happens, you gotta look cool. over again I did wrong. take two yeah you just you learned me a lesson that's what it was you'll just have these cool lines on the outside yeah whatever a little break thing will take care of that Alright, so we got this cookie sheet. We're gonna get a little tutorial on how this works. So we end up having it kind of mark where our starting is and our ending's gonna be, and then obviously these lines or the louvers are gonna be. And on the little louver itself, you can see this little probably shouldn't cover the light there, a little mark. So that's what's gonna center up and work our way back. So Brent's gonna set the first one up for me. I guess I'll probably set my camera up and we'll go slow motion for a while or fast speed. See how much uh, progress I make. <laughs> no fast speed, it'll just be. <laughs> it'll okay. be normal speed. Basically the. Uh, I see. So you just put the square up against I the just line. I put it up to the line, like roughly. I know that's that. So then. If it goes down, this head will start to flex. But I find it's right where that. Where the line out. starts. Yeah, where it bottoms out. Is it? Because it can't go down anymore. Yeah, yeah. Because that plate on the back. Yeah, and you'll figure out this will go here. This drops. And now your spacing is good. You just pull back. It's oh, just okay. because. Yeah, yeah. They don't quite sit square. You get a couple, but I find after I'll go until it touches. I do the old quick. Oh, it's just too close. Yeah. 
and that's it. LED lights. Back again. So a few hundred times. Yeah, just repeat till your back is sore, and uh, and keep going. Yeah, yeah, yeah keep going. <laughs> so I just pulled it out. This is my first row of lubers I've ever done in my life. I'm pretty stoked on them. I got the nod from Brent, so they must be good. So I'll maybe set you guys up with a tripod. I don't know. I'll do a few of these in kind of fast motion, but uh, this probably took me 10 or 15 minutes. So 20, 30, 40. It'll be an hour. Ooh, it better look cool. All right, so about halfway done. I got four rows done, got three more to go. So I think I did the math, there's like 122. So it's, uh, it's slow moving. There's gonna be a few little uh, wags and stuff in it, but hey, I'm pretty stoked on it. I'm gonna have to start louvering a bunch more things. I'm just gonna bring over tin and louver it, put on stuff at home. Maybe Danielle's next Christmas present will be louvered. I was like, we bent it all, but I never really did test it. <laughs> so there's my louver deck lid. So it's just uh, square and flat right now. But we have this fancy uh, shrinker stretcher, which I've never used before, but I'm going to get another tutorial. So will you guys. You're so we just got to... You're going to see Dan buying a whole lot of new yeah. tools. Oh yeah, Princess Auto is getting all my money. So we're going to have to go like this. Okay, so we're getting a little tutorial. So stretcher shrinker, we've already kind of half folded it. So that one, like there's just two two dies that as you step on it, pull it apart, right? And the other one pushes it together. Yep. You put it in and then try to blend her nice. Blend nice. And you just kind of do a few on one side, flip it over and do the same on the other? Yeah, try Ish. to mirror whatever you're doing there. Oh, yeah. So can you stretch basically as much as you want, but when you're trying it'll to- It'll get to a point, it'll start tearing. It can't do. But when you're folding it in, it'll almost kind of have little ups and downs, like the other way, like shrinking. Yeah, it'll do the other thing. It it'll just, fold it itself pulls, into it'll each other? It'll still look just as mashed as it is right now, kind of thing. Custom, you mean? Yeah. It just mashed the other way instead of pulled apart. All right, well, let's- See, come on. See what you can accomplish. Yeah, yeah. And then just kind of go back and forth until you're yeah. kind of- We're getting close to it, and then- This one will need more. I don't know. Probably use the sharpie and just start marking till yeah yeah because it's got a, you want because you got a heavy curve and do less and then more yeah all right well thank you yeah. get at her you can pull. well it's been a long evening well, that's what this sucker looks like 
I gotta say, for never having used a stretcher, shrinker, luber maker, whatever, like this started off as a piece of sheet metal in the corner and it's a deck lid. But I think I'm done for tonight. Uh, it's Thursday, so I'll probably be back on Saturday. I'd like to get this a little more squared away, maybe work on this bottom panel, mess around with some steering, and that's probably time to take it home and take it all apart, do all this welding and junk like that. But no, I think it looks wicked. Leave a comment, let me know what you think. Does it need more loopers?